Welcome to an illustration of Fubini's theorem. The goal of this video is to state Fubini's theorem and then also to illustrate the theorem graphically. Fubini's theorem states that if f of xy is continuous over the region R, defined by the closed interval from A to B for x and the closed interval from C to D for y, then the double integral of f of xy over the region R is equal to either of these two iterated integrals. Taking a closer look at these two integrals, this means that a double integral can be evaluated by iterated integrals where the order of integration can be changed. Notice for this first double integral, we're integrating with respects to y and then with respects to x. Or, looking at the second double integral, we can integrate with respects to x first and then y. So we are allowed to change the order of integration and the result will be the same. One thing we should be aware of, if a, b, c, or d are functions, switching the order of integration may require rewriting the functions in terms of x or y based upon the order of integration. What I mean by that is, taking a look at this double integral here, if we integrate with respect to y first, if c and d were functions, they would have to be expressed in terms of x. Looking at this double integral here, if we integrate with respect to x first, if a and b were functions, a and b would have to be expressed in terms of y. Let's take a look at a graphical illustration of Fubini's theorem. Let's say we're trying to find the volume under this gray surface bounded by the xy plane. If we integrate the specs to x first, we would integrate along this blue plane. And then as we integrate with specs to y, we would be accumulating the volume along the positive y-axis as we see here. And you can see the result would be the volume under the surface. Now if we switch the order of integration and integrate with specs to y first, we would then be integrating along the positive y-axis here. And then with respects to x, we would move along the positive x-axis, accumulating the volume as we progress in this direction here. And you can visually see, regardless of the order of integration, the end result would be the volume under this surface bounded by the xy-plane. So this is a nice graphical representation of what's happening in Fubini's theorem when it states that we can change the order of integration and the result will be the same. I hope you found this illustration helpful. Thank you for watching.